Hello and welcome to another of Bob's videos. Uh, this time we're going to be like looking at upgrading the electrical engine. Uh, I'm using a slightly different texture pack from default, so this is named uh, Sfax. And briefly, just to explain what goes where, this is the empty uh, circuit socket. This down here is um, a slot for fuel. Now on the default texture pack there also looks like there's a square here with kind of a fan looking thing in it. Actually nothing goes in that box, it's just there as a, I don't know, it's just part of the texture really. So, let's get on with upgrading the electrical engine. Let me show you how you do that. First thing you're going to need is a soldering iron. And to craft this you need a carpenter. Please take note of that. It's not done in the normal crafting table. Simply three iron ingots and a bronze ingot. That's in the crafting table, which we have over here. So three. It's done slightly different than this. And a bronze. And of course you'll need a supply of water as well, which you can get from various different places, buckets, cells. Um, in, in my case, I'm using a thermal expansions aqueous accumulator. Once that's done, and there we have it, one soldering iron. Right, now, a lot of people think that you upgrade the electrical engine by right clicking on the electric engine with a soldering iron. You actually don't. Soldering iron has its own interface and you open the interface simply by right clicking. Now what we have here is four slots for available electron and this is where the chip goes. So firstly we need to make um, some chips. Uh, to do that, well the electron tubes. Uh, to do that we take uh, redstone and there's different combinations here. Uh, these are the actual circuits. So this is a small one. It's just six redstone and a tin ingot in the carpenter. Again with water. Gives us a small circuit board. And then we have a medium circuit board which is the same but with bronze. Again you need water. medium circuit board and then lastly three gold ingots makes the large chip and basically each chip holds a certain number of upgrades uh, which we'll see in a moment small being the least and large being the most Then we have our three circuit boards. The next thing we need is the actual electron tubes. Now, for this, I'm just going to panel that up. We need a thermionic fabricator, and there are four different tubes that you can add. Each one adding a different effect to the upgrade. Um, there's no sort of good or bad ones for this. Uh, they're all made with pretty much the same method. So if we take the iron one, for instance, and just spread those out like that and then two redstones there and there and put some glass in the top. Uh, this is going to take a while to heat up. Uh, we'll see how it goes but I may come back when this is heated up. And there we are, so that's the iron electron tubes. And then we have bronze. So 
some bronze electron tubes. And tin. And we have copper. And now each one of these electron tubes in the electrical engine upgrade adds a different feature as we will see. So, um, right click again with the soldering iron and then if we pop one of these in we'll see and I can talk you through what they are. Right, so the top one, the iron electron tube gives an electric, electric efficiency. Now, what this is, is it gives a minus one EU per tick on the input required to the engine uh, and doesn't change the output, so that's basically more efficient uh, running the engine as it is. Um, we'll skip down to the tin one, which is electric boost one, and what this does is it requires seven more EU per tick, but on the output side it gives a plus two uh, Minecraft joules per tick. Uh, the electric boost 2, which is the bronze electron tube, that um, requires 15 EU per tick more, but gives an output of plus 4 microjoules per tick. And lastly, the uh, copper one, which is the electric choke, um, what that actually does is it reduces the input and output. So it reduces the input EU by 2 and reduces the output uh, uh, micro, my, Minecraft joules by 1. So that's if you want to, I guess, use it for something um, a little bit less. Now, to upgrade these, um, whatever you do, don't put the circuit board in first. Um, put whatever you want to upgrade it by first. So let's go for the electric boost 2. And then as soon as you drop the small chip in, it adds that to the circuit board. Okay. Now you can change this. If you decided you didn't want that and you wanted to go, for, say, um, the efficiency one, um, you can put the efficiency electron tube in and drop the same chip back in and it will change that. But it does actually remove the one that was on before. Um, now, if you, for instance, want to add more than one uh, electron tube, then you need obviously a better circuit board than the small one, so we can go with a medium one. If you wanted to say add, uh, ooh, let's give it a real big boost, shall we? Let's give it boost one and two, which is uh, uh, tin and bronze. And you dropped a medium one in. Then we've now increased that uh, the <laughs> the boost on this engine by a considerable amount, but it's also going to use a lot more as well. Um, again, if you want to change that, you just simply put in the electron tubes and put the chip back in. And then let's go for all of them for the large one. Ah, you see there? Didn't add the last one, so you can only add, actually add three um, energy upgrades. Where's that gone? Anyway. So, three being the maximum that you can put in. Now, to actually add them to the engine, first of all, what you want to do is turn it off. Not that it really matters, but um, just right click and open the interface and pop in whichever chip you want into the slot. And there it is, that's your engine upgraded. Um, you won't see the output unless it's cooling down. Now, if you try and click to get that out, you'll find you can't. If you break the engine, you'll lose the chip. It doesn't have uh, an uh, icon in, in the world uh, to drop anywhere. So the only way to get that out is to take your soldering iron and then left click it on top of the chip. So it actually takes it out and then you can put another chip in. So, and that's that. If you're wondering what this slot's for, it's for things like RE batteries. Uh, which you can use to power the engine from. Uh, it's actually turned off at the minute. Uh, so if just to prove that, we'll just break that cable. And you can see the engine's still going and the energy's dropping in the RE battery, which it would do with that uh, upgrade. So there you have it. That's a, a simple how to upgrade the electrical engine.
and it's it's not difficult once you know how. So thank you for watching, and um, we'll uh, see you again.